Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. In today's video I want to talk about solar and MC4 connectors. This kit comes with the crimping tool, the tightening tool, and six pairs of MC4 connectors and it's kept nicely in a storage pouch for convenient use. What I want to show you guys today is how to correctly crimp an MC4 connector and I'll show you an alternate way which some people think is a perfectly acceptable way to make these solar connectors and in fact it is not. Some other tools you'll need in addition to this kit is a pair of wire strippers and in this case I'm going to use some regular THHN wire. I have black and red here but typically you would do this with the correct solar PV wire and the thing is this is 10 gauge wire. You want to make sure your wire strippers can strip 10 gauge. In this case this goes from 12 gauge all the way down to 6 gauge and then I have another pair of crimpers as you can see here that some people may be trying to use for this and these are the ones that you do not want to use. These are just a pair of commercial electric crimpers from Home Depot. So as you can see here this is the crimping tool. Now I'm going to squeeze this and you'll notice it's a ratcheting type. So if you only squeeze it a little bit it holds that position that it's in and this will make sure you get a full crimp on that connector before it releases that way it's not too loose and causes a bad connection. You can actually get this kit with this tool and connectors on Amazon. I'll have links in the description. Uh, go ahead and check these out. They are worth your money because if you don't get a proper crimp connection, it can cause a fire. And if that fire causes damage to property, then you can be held liable. And saving the 30 bucks on this tool is no longer a savings. It's a massive expense. So it's worth your while to get the tool for sure. So let's take a closer look at what comes in these little packages. You have these little ferrules, which as you can see will go in each other inside of the connectors. Now one thing to keep in mind, the female ferrule goes with the male connector. So as you can see on this connector, this is the male end. The female ferrule goes with the male connector. And it can be kind of confusing. And uh, if you get this backwards, you'll have to cut the connectors off and uh, start over so make sure you understand male ferrule goes with the female connector and the female ferrule goes with the male connector. You'll probably screw it up on your first time. So typically your solar panels will already have uh, connectors on them but in this case uh, I don't have a solar panel handy so I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to take my strippers and I'm going to go ahead and strip off about a half an inch of insulation and be sure to use the correct um, setting on the stripper for the size wire that you're dealing with. So now on a solar panel you'll have a couple of connectors. On the solar panel end the male connector is the positive of that solar panel. So I'm going to make a cable right now about a foot long and this is going to be my solar panel end. Uh, you should already have this set up on your solar panel but I'm going to make this just for illustration purpose. And you're going to take this ferrule and stick the wire in it like that. Here is a nice still close-up of what that looks like. And you're going to want to take this and stick it in the tool. Now when you're putting these ferrules in the tool, you want to put the open end toward the top, like so. And you can go ahead and start squeezing it a little bit. And then you can stick the wire in at that point and then squeeze it all the way until it closes and then release it. Your crimp should look like this and here is a nice close-up shot of what this should look like. Now once you have this crimped on, keeping in mind that your male ferrule goes with your female connector, you're going to want to take it and just go ahead and insert it all the way into this connector firmly and you'll hear it snap and you shouldn't be able to pull it out of the connector. You're then going to want to take your tightening tools that are also part of the kit and put one end over the connector and take the other tool and go over the back that that'll tighten up and tighten it all the way until this tool clicks. Hear it clicking? That's how you know it's tight enough. Now in this case I use regular THHN wire and as you can see the back closed up and if you were using PV wire this would not tighten down all the way until this is closed it would be slightly more open but this connector right here as you can see I can't pull it out no matter how hard I pull and it's going to last a long time and be safe 
and operate correctly in your system. Now I'm going to take another section of wire and show you what happens if you don't do this correctly. So I'm going to cut it and strip it back just like before, about a half an inch of insulation. And with the other end, so this would be the end going to your solar charge controller. You're going to put a female ferrule with a male connector. And this output would be what would go to your charge controller or batteries, however you want to set it up. And what I'm going to do here is use my crimping tool and do an incorrect crimp. And this is what a lot of beginners will think is correct, where they're going to try and bend over one end and squeeze it as tight as they can and then bend over the other end and then try to kind of crimp it in there, you know, not the right way, you know, and, and this, this looks worse than if I were really, really trying hard to get it right. But this is actually how some of my very first solar connectors had looked. And, you know, you can tell already, I'm taking quite a bit of time to do this. It's not right. It looks all ugly. There's exposed copper and stuff in here. And if I put this in the connector, until it clicks, right? I shouldn't be able to pull this out. And go ahead and use the tools just like before and tighten it up until it clicks. And let's actually do this. Let me loosen this up. And I'm not gonna use the tools because if you don't buy the kit, you probably won't have the correct tightening tools. And I'm just gonna spin this as hard as I can and then I'm going to connect these two together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the two and pull them as hard as I can. And as you can see, the one that I crimped the wrong way pulled right out and it didn't take too much effort. If I now try and pull the one crimp properly as hard as I can, it still isn't coming out. It's still connected well and will be good for use in my system for a long time. The reason also it's so important to get these right is once you tighten this uh, lock ring on the back, you can't really pull this apart. Look at how nasty it is in there where that crimp opened up. This connector is garbage and I can never use it again on my system because that ferrule is all screwed up. So this would be your positive and negative from your solar panel. Again, negative has a male connector and positive has the female connector. And then if I were making a negative cable to my charge controller, in this case, I'm going to show that with black. Again, strip it back a half an inch. You're going to use a male ferrule for a negative cable um, with a female connector. And this is going back to your charge controller. It's important to know the direction that you're going in terms of from your solar panels to your charge controller because the connectors can be both negative and positive depending on which part of your system it is. That's why I strongly recommend using color-coded wire for this kind of thing. So I'm going to cut this end off and show you just how quick this can be. It's a matter of strip, grab your ferrule, grab your crimp tool, stick your ferrule in your crimp tool, orient it the correct direction, stick the wire in, crimp it, done. Now insert it in the connector till it clicks, grab the tools and tighten it up. Till it clicks and as you can see, it's done just like that. Much, much, much faster than doing it the wrong way. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something today. As you can see, this pair that I made crimping them correctly, it's really hard to pull apart. It's going to have great electrical characteristics, and you'll be very satisfied using the correct tools, and you won't have to worry about having connections fail and catch on fire and potentially burn down your whole house or RV. That would be very unfortunate to find out. So that's why I'm advising to you guys, get the correct crimping tool, get the correct tightening tools, make a good installation, and it'll make your day that much better. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I wanna let you guys know that I've been following the channel for a while. I recently acquired a shop slash warehouse where I'm gonna be doing more filming of videos. The content just gets better from here. 
So be sure to stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And be sure to check out the links in the description where you can get your own set of crimping and solar MC4 connector tools. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.